stock are you valuing? No, 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 no stocks. I want to, I want to short the housing market. Really? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 Christian Bale performances. It's a dragon slayer! Oh, he's a dragon slayer! Oh, good! I suppose that makes you King Arthur, does it? For this list, we're looking at the most memorable showings the actor has given us over the years. To be clear, we will be ranking his performances, not the projects themselves. Certain plot points will be discussed, so beware of potential spoilers. Which of these Christian Bale roles is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. Michael Burry, The Big Short It has to be tough playing a real person since viewers have a clear point of reference to compare the actor to. Based on Michael Lewis's famous book, The Big Short is about the build-up to the housing bubble crash and the people who profited off of it. The housing market is propped up on these bad loans. I'm a time bomb and I want to short it. Bale plays Michael Burry, a hedge fund manager who correctly predicted the crisis and shorted the bond market. And the actor does an exceptional job. Burry is depicted as an outsider owing to his many quirks, and his awkwardness in social situations makes him a lovable underdog. He hasn't moved all day. He does this every few days. He hasn't spoken to me since he hired me. Bale manages to toe the line between peculiar and fiercely intelligent, depicting Burry as an intriguing man with an incredible eye for finances. I'm not sure what you want me to say. I think that... I think you've already said it. Number 19. Jack Cowboy Kelly, Francis Sullivan, Newsies it's rare for a successful child actor to grow into a successful adult actor, but Christian Bale has proved it is possible. He's been acting from a very young age, and Newsies was released when he was just 18 years old. You see, it ain't about the money, Dave. If Joe gives in to nobodies like us, it means we got the power. And he can't do that. No matter what it costs. He plays a newspaper hawker named Jack Kelly, who organizes the famous newsboy strike of 1899. The musical dramedy has never received the greatest critical reception, but Bale's performance has been widely acclaimed. He puts on a wicked New York accent and shows off his singing chops, proving himself to be a multi talented actor. I'm alone, but I ain't lonely. For a dream of night's the only time of day. He's a joy to watch, providing the movie with most of its energy and heart. Even as a teen, Bale was a natural performer who had the talent to carry movies. Number 18. Melvin Purvis, Public Enemies Christian Bale clearly has a thing for nonfiction. Public Enemies is based on Brian Burroughs' book of the same name, which chronicles Depression-era gangsters. Bale is Melvin Purvis, the very public and very controversial FBI agent who hunted prolific bank robbers, most notably Johnny Depp's John Dillinger. I'll keep you up nights. What keeps you up nights, Mr. Dillinger? Coffee. The movie is a technical marvel, but it's made extra memorable by Depp and Bale. They play stellar opposites, and their drama drives much of the story's action. Bale painfully conveys the personal toll of being an FBI agent, especially back then, when some brutal practices were the norm. The late Purvis had a troubled story, and Bale is perfect at depicting it. I will not guarantee what immigration will do, but I can guarantee what I will do if you do not cooperate. You will be on a boat out of this country in 48 hours. Do not play games with me. Number 17. John Preston, Equilibrium Basically a mix between 1984 and The Matrix, Equilibrium is a dystopian movie filled with slick martial arts. Bale stars opposite Tay Diggs as they personally confront a future in which emotions and feelings are banned by a totalitarian city-state. Do you think I should report him? As John Preston, Bale undergoes a wonderful transformation throughout the movie. He begins suitably stoic and unemotional, serving as an agent for the regime. But his world opens up when he begins feeling emotions firsthand, and the actor plays this opportunity with all the beautiful and tragic worth it demands. Plus, he kicks a lot of butt as a martial artist. He can seemingly do it all. 
stoicism, emotion, and action. I have no choice but to remand you to the Palace of Justice for processing. Number 16, Theodore Laurie Lawrence, Little Women. Louisa May Alcott's masterpiece may have been adapted numerous times for the big screen. In fact, this was the fifth movie adaptation of the iconic novel. And with it came Christian Bale's turn to play Joe's suitor and Amy's eventual husband, Theodore Laurie Lawrence. I've waited my whole life to be kissed. And what if I miss it? i tell you what. I promise to kiss you before you die. Everyone loves the characters of Little Women, whose complexity and wonderful interactions drive the story. Bale had a high standard to live up to, but he rose to the occasion. He brings Theodore to life with a captivating innocence and emotion. He finds a way to capture your attention whenever he's around, and it's a real treat. There have obviously been lots of lorries throughout the years, but Bale gives the character a certain heart that's simply irresistible. I have loved you since the moment I clapped eyes on you. What could be more reasonable than to marry you? Number 15, Ken Miles, Ford v. Ferrari. A big hit at the box office, Ford v. Ferrari centers around the 1966 24 Hours of Le Mans. This Grand Prix of Endurance was the first to be won by an American company, as the Ford GT40 emerged victorious. Bale becomes British race car driver Ken Miles, who drove for Ford during the iconic race. You're gonna build a car to beat old man Ferrari yeah. with Ford. With a Ford. Correct. He's one of those actors who can do a lot by himself, as he thrillingly proves during the racing sequences that are filled with excitement and feeling. Of course, he also shares some incredible chemistry with Matt Damon, who plays Miles' automotive designer, Carol Shelby. It's easy to see why Bale's magnetic performance and charismatic likability earned him his fifth Golden Globe nomination. They're asking that you be a team player and make that photograph happen. That photograph, that's good. That is good. Mm. Number 14, Jack Rollins and Pastor John, I'm Not There. A different kind of biopic, I'm Not There tells the story of Bob Dylan through a variety of experimental methods. One of the most unique is the movie's depiction of Dylan himself. Various actors portray different aspects of his personality and art, with Bale playing both Jack Rollins and Pastor John. You got my blinders on. All they see is the cars and how to use people for their cars. Now they're trying to use me for something. You know, they want me to, want to care, pick a sign. I'm the picture taken. Jack mirrors Dylan's famous acoustic era that made him an icon of the counterculture. Pastor John naturally represents the star's divisive evangelical era after he converted to Christianity. Bale is exceptional as both characters, infusing them with his own distinct identities, and his performance beautifully conveys the multiple complex layers of Dylan's public persona. Old things are passed away, and all things are made anew. It doesn't matter what I did before. Number 13, Jim Davis, Harsh Times. This was the directorial debut of David Ayer, an acclaimed screenwriter who earned praise for writing Training Day. This 2005 work continues that movie's general style, depicting the hard streets of South Central Los Angeles. Bale's Jim Davis returns from the war on terror with PTSD and falls on some, you guessed it, harsh times. Come on, dude. No longer eligible, I mean, what does that sound like? Pull the plug, dude. The actor's performance was well received and is generally considered the best part of the movie. He's powerful and fiercely intense, and his character has even been favorably compared to Travis Bickle from Taxi Driver. He's very rough around the edges and can be hard to like, but Bale's effortless talent makes him magnetic to watch. Oh man, I bet you it's I bet you it's because I'm white. But it's because you're a dick. Number 12. Russell Bays, Out of the Furnace. Produced by Ridley Scott and Leonardo DiCaprio, Out of the Furnace stars Christian Bale as Russell, a man who searches for his missing brother. The artist is in great company, acting alongside other legends like Woody Harrelson, Forrest Whitaker, and Willem Dafoe. While that certainly sounds intimidating, Bale proves that he belongs with the best of them. Yeah, I got a problem with you. He makes for an exceptional protagonist, depicting a man who's been beaten down by life and has a harsh personality to show for it. It's a very emotional showing that proves one of his most humane. That, combined with the electric dynamic between him and the rest of the unbeatable cast, makes for a must-watch performance. Don't be too proud. 
to work for a living. There's nothing wrong in it. What'd you say? There's nothing wrong in working for a living. Number 11, Jamie Jim Graham, Empire of the Sun. Take Christian Bale, pair him with Steven Spielberg, and you get cinematic magic. The movie is pure Spielberg, balancing his eye for cinematics with a heartfelt story about adolescence. In this case, growing up isn't so fun. Released when Bale was just 13, Empire of the Sun follows Jim Graham, a kid who's imprisoned by Japanese forces during World War II. Didn't I teach you anything? Yes! Yeah! taught me that people will do anything for a potato. Bale is magnificent in the role, proving his talent at a young age and outshining the more experienced members of the cast. He tragically embodies the horrible change in Jim as he slowly loses his boyish innocence. It's hard to ask a young actor to carry a movie of this caliber, but Bale was more than up to the task. It might be a bit strange. All the same, Mrs. Victor, the best teacher is the University of Life. Number 10, Gore, Thor, Love and Thunder. Add Christian Bale's name to the list of actors who've played characters for both Marvel and DC. But instead of playing a hero like we're used to seeing from him, here he gives a villainous turn, and he is predictably just as compelling. The only ones who gods care about is themselves. This is my vow. Oh God, she will die. In Thor Love and Thunder, he plays an alien who suffers a deep personal loss from the moment we meet him, which makes his ultimate descent into treachery upon being exposed to evil that much more dynamic. Still, it could have been a jarring character in anyone else's hands, as Bale is able to seamlessly transition from playful to serious without losing an ounce of menace or screen presence. You. Unlike the other gods of kill. We didn't necessarily think Christian Bale would be a perfect fit for the MCU, but here we are. Number 9. Dan Evans, 310 to Yuma. One of the finest westerns of the 21st century, 310 to Yuma is based on Elmore Leonard's short story of the same name. It concerns two opposites. Dan Evans is a poor but hardworking rancher, and Ben Wade is a ruthless criminal who attains wealth through illicit means. Bale plays Dan, who's tasked with delivering Ben to the titular train so that he can be taken to prison. And you just remember, it's your old man walk Ben Wade to that station when nobody else would. It's not one of Bale's flashier roles, owing to the reserved nature of his character, but he generates a lot of sympathy through his humbleness and overall likability, and he works exceptionally well alongside the much tougher Russell Crowe. Honestly, the casting is flawless, and the acting helps elevate 310 to Yuma to classic status. I've been standing. Number 8. Alfred Borden, The Prestige Christopher Nolan is a director who has a keen eye for technicality, but he never lets anything upstage his actors. The Prestige is a thrilling film about two magicians in late 19th century London who are keen on outdoing each other. Bale plays Alfred Borden, a humble magician and the personal rival of Hugh Jackman's Robert Angier. You went off way around the world. You spent a fortune. The duo work marvelously together, each drawing great performances out of the other. Bale's work is definitely solid at first glance, but it can only be truly admired upon a rewatch once the famous twist is known. He gives a masterfully subtle performance that leaves viewers questioning, how did he do that? You could say he's kind of a magician himself. Never show anyone. They'll beg you and they'll flatter you for the secret, but as soon as you give it up, be nothing to him. Number 7. Dick Cheney, Vice. Just like politics, Adam McKay's Vice split audiences right down the middle. But there was one thing most people agreed on, and that was how stellar Christian Bale's performance as Dick Cheney was. Bale was literally transformed for the role, donning Oscar winning makeup and gaining 40 pounds. Physical transformations are nice and all, but they mean little if the performance underneath isn't solid. I have been the chief of staff. Uh, the vice presidency is mostly a uh, 
symbolic job. Luckily, the star gave one of his all-time greatest efforts, mirroring Dick Cheney to eerie perfection. Audiences didn't see Christian Bale playing an older man. They saw the 46th Vice President of the United States. In fact, his performance was so flawless, it earned him his fourth Academy Award nomination. You will. I'm gonna take Saddam down or not. You are the president. War is yours. Number six, Lieutenant Dieter Dengler, Rescue Dawn. Directed by Werner Herzog, Rescue Dawn is based on the actual life of Navy aviator Dieter Dengler. The film depicts him flying in the Vietnam War, getting shot down, and subsequently being imprisoned. He eventually escapes from prison camp, and after more tribulations, is ultimately rescued by American forces. No one is to see him, no hey. one is to touch him, no one is to talk to him. Get him inside. Don't forget what you've seen. In fact, from now on, it's a black operation. Is that clear? Bale gives one of his most intense performances as Dengler, displaying a character at the end of his rope who's fighting desperately for both his life and freedom. He manages to bring all Dengler's story to life with a raw honesty, and he appears deeply committed to the part. Bale clearly isn't afraid to get dirty for his craft, both literally and figuratively. What is that? <laughs> Number five, Irving Rosenfeld, American Hustle. One of the most acclaimed films of 2013, American Hustle is a dramatized take on a real FBI sting operation that targeted corrupt members of Congress. Bale plays Irving Rosenfeld, who's based on an actual FBI informant named Mel Weinberg. I mean, I'm dying here. And you need somebody who's gonna be quiet, who's gonna be shut up. You're young, you're beautiful, you gotta find somebody else, you gotta go out and get some friends, all right? He skillfully acts alongside other A-listers, including Amy Adams, Bradley Cooper, and Jennifer Lawrence, and does a flawless job. He's also completely transformed in the role, both through his performance and physical appearance. Having packed on the pounds and sporting a wonderful comb-over, Bale gloriously defines the late 70s. It's a marvelous and layered performance that earned him his first Oscar nomination for Best Actor in a Leading Role. Will kill me, he will kill Danny, and he'll kill you. That's Stop you're talking like with. that! He's a pop star, all right? That's what you're dealing with. Number four, Bruce Wayne, Batman, The Dark Knight Trilogy. While Bale was obviously an accomplished and well-known actor before Batman Begins, it was that movie that helped make him an international superstar. The famous Bruce Wayne. Rachel's told me everything about you. I certainly hope not. He underwent rigorous training for the role, like reportedly learning kung fu and gaining a significant amount of muscle. Luckily, all that work paid off spectacularly. His performance played a huge role in making the Dark Knight trilogy the popular and acclaimed series it is today. And we'd be remiss not to mention his gravelly Batman voice, which is a particular point of enjoyment. You're garbage who kills for money. Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. He brought a more conflicted and complex Batman to the cinematic landscape, and the character has never been the same since. Because I'm not a hero. I like that. I killed those people. That's what I can be. No, no, you can't. You're not. I'm whatever Gotham needs me to be. Pulling in. Number three, Dick Dickie Eklund, The Fighter. Christian Bale and director David O. Russell seemed to work well together. Russell directed Bale to his first two Oscar nominations, with his performance as Dickie Eklund being his very first. The Fighter is a biographical boxing film about Dickie and his half-brother Mickey Ward. You gotta win a title. For you, for me, for all. This is your time, all right? We take it. I had my time, I blew it. You don't have to, all right? Bale and Mark Wahlberg share a rich chemistry, and it was actually Wahlberg who recommended his co-star for the part. We think he was right on the money with his suggestion because the final result speaks for itself. Bale absolutely chews the scenery by reflecting Dickie's unique personality, and he proves the standout in a cast full of talented actors. It is a mesmerizing and Oscar-winning performance for the ages. You think I knocked down Sugar Ray Leonard? He went 10 rounds, one of the best to ever do it. He couldn't hurt you. You were my hero. I was. Number two, Trevor Resnick, The Machinist. While The Machinist wasn't a huge financial success, Bale's work in it made a splash. His character, Trevor Resnick, is a very sick man. 
he suffers from horrible insomnia, and the lack of sleep has caused him to lose both his mind and body. Jesus. Trevor's emaciated appearance is entirely Bale's doing, as he dropped over 60 pounds for the role. His skeletal appearance garnered widespread interest, and it helped turn The Machinist into one of his most unforgettable movies. Of course, the performance itself is also excellent, with Bale diving into Trevor's addled mind with scary abandon. It doesn't make for easy viewing, but the actor is so magnetic, we just cannot look away. Is someone chasing you? Not yet. But they will when they find out who I am. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Patrick Bateman, American Psycho Patrick Bateman is not only Bale's greatest character and performance, he's also arguably one of the most memorable villains in movie history. Bale's Bateman is a hotshot banker on Wall Street who may or may not moonlight as a psychotic serial killer the actor gives a richly layered performance, exuding fake yuppie confidence while clearly harboring malicious thoughts. I like to dissect girls. Did you know I'm utterly insane? And when Bateman gets scary and violent, Bale goes all out with this role. He cleverly established himself as a genuine artist whose talents carried over from adolescence to adulthood. Without American Psycho, we would not have the Christian Bale we know and love today. We're still not sure how his magnificent performance in this movie didn't earn him an Oscar nomination, but it is borderline criminal. And though I can hide my cold gaze, and you can shake my hand and feel flesh gripping yours, and maybe you can even sense our lifestyles are probably comparable, I simply am not there. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.